a struggle city. <laughs> I put you it were just first. you were just waiting. I could see I could see the veins in your neck bulging. I wanted to be first. This Even though there's only two of us. This isn't just struggle city. It's coffee at the matinee. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a special coffee at the matinee because the coffee's being consumed at home because we're talking about a TV show. That was an interesting segue. I don't know if I liked it. I don't care. It's my show. Whoa. <laughs> my God. What happened to fucking democracy? Democracy's with our, dead. With our city. Democracy's dead. Well, I'm going to be the mayor then, and fuck you. So I get... There can't be a mayor because nobody was elected. There doesn't need to be an election. Anyway. <laughs> it's the, rigged anyway. That's the point of democracy is election. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We're talking about Stranger Things, because we both just finished season three. Well, like Quote, unquote, two weeks just. ago. Yeah. But we've, we've both watched it. Correct. So there will be spoilers, like every coffee at the matinee. Tons so. of spoilers, because it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. So, what'd you think? It was the best season out of, me- out of two seasons of mediocrity. I disagree. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Hmm. In watching season three, I get why season one and season two were kind of slow builds. Yeah. Because this is everything that it was building towards. Right. And, I, and, and it doesn't incre- it doesn't increase my approval of the first two seasons, but I'm fine with it. Because season three was good, and it got to my 80s, if that makes any sense. Oh my god. Um, I... I think this was my least favorite season. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting because this this is not an opinion I've heard. Really? Yeah. Everybody's because oh. well, here's the thing: everybody loves Stranger Things regardless. Yeah. Of season, everybody's just like, "Oh, these kids are great." And, right. Yeah. So I think the kids are the worst part of the show. You just hate kids, besides nieces and nephews at right. this point. <laughs> um, but no, I I thought it was obviously I thought it was good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have continued mm-hmm. to watch it. Right. But. Season one was really good when I watched it because, it, one, it was brand new. Two, there were so many questions that I had mm-hmm. that needed answers, so, like, that kept me really occupied. Okay. And it was still, like, an introduction into who Eleven was and where the fuck is Will. And right. that whole concept of the Upside Down was so cool in the beginning. Okay. And then with season two, you find more out about Eleven. And I liked that, mm-hmm. and I liked the relationship that built between her and Hopper. Okay, yeah. Um, because he's still my favorite character. Eh. He's, he's in my top area. It's, it's weird, because in a lot of shows, I, a lot of shows and movies, I tend to like gravitate towards the fatherly types, mm-hmm. for one reason or another. I don't know why. So, with season three, I did not like the monster as much as I like the Demogorgon. I love the monster. What was its name? The Mind Flayer. That's right. Yeah. It's just like, it's really not that memorable. To I me. thought it was pretty great. Because like I said, this gets into my 80s. This is right. the era of John Carpenter and David Cronenberg. Cronenberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you, but like, this is uh, around the time that The Thing came out. So right. this is great. You, you saw the thing. I did see the thing. Yeah. And that's exactly what the mind flare in like this form yeah. was. And that's and I really gravitated yeah. towards that. I mean it was an interesting concept and I was very interested in that in season two. Because we still had no idea what it was and Will was seeing it and having right. those flashbacks. So I liked that. Um but like the romance between Elle and Mike. I hated it. Which, by the way... Jesus Christ, I, hate, I hated all of the romance in this season. Well, okay. Okay, first of all, Mike needs a haircut. <laughs> oh my god, does Mike need a haircut? Wait, so... hang on. Which one's Mike? Is that the kid from It? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So he needs a I haircut. Know. All these kids are interchangeable to me. Okay. Um, and I didn't like him and Elle together in this one. They were very cute together in the first and second season. It was weird. It, like, they it they were stupid. starting to get more towards like all about the physical aspects of yeah, love. Yeah, like some of like some of their relationships seemed too mature. I think they were supposed to be like fourteen at that point, right? Maybe fifteen. Sure. Yeah, so like they're yeah. teenagers. Yeah, 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 something like I that. Guess. 
But yeah, so I didn't like Max either. I had never really liked Max. She was not a favorite of mine. Oh, uh, Lucas's girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, and her and Lucas together were ridiculous. Weird. Now, granted, Lucas knew a lot of relationships, relationship stuff that he should have known. He seemed like an asshole. He's been an asshole. Yeah. Throughout the whole series, he's my least favorite character because he's a dick. He's the worst. He's so mean. And she's just, like, unpleasant, too. She's just, like, they just kind of threw her in there. Yeah. And I didn't... They didn't know what to do with her in season two, and then season three, they just tried too hard. I mean, I liked that she was there for Eleven, and she was like... I hated their fucking, like, mall montage. I thought it was kind of cute. It was one of the... I turned inside out. I cringed (laughs) so hard. But what about, like, their sleepovers? It was, I don't know, meaningless. It was just, like, unnecessary. Well, that's them building a friendship. Like, this is the first girlfriend that Elle's had. Right, I get that, but yeah. I feel like there's smoother ways to try and do that. Sure. Yeah, there's just, like, a lot of weird, cringy shit in the season. Yeah, and I did not like what she said about relationships overall. Like, she was kind of giving me the impression of, like, she's one of those people where as soon as something goes wrong, she's like, I dump your ass. Oh, the and then thing, yeah. Yeah, and then waits for him to yeah. buy her a present right. in order to but wake up. Like, I feel like we both know people like that. Yeah, but that's not how relationships should be. It's not healthy. No, it's not how it should be, but it felt pretty realistic. Yeah. 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 But it felt also weird for, like, that age range to do. Yeah. That seems like an older teenager thing. Yeah. And, like, like, considering her brother, like, where would she have learned that? It's weird. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, The whole thing with her brother. I liked it. Like, he was such a piece of shit in season two. And then he gets, like, the surprisingly okay redemptive arc. Yeah. I mean, I liked it. Because he ended up saving Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. And I Which ju- was good. I liked that actor anyway. Because he, he was a really good Red Ranger in the, mm. the Power Ranger movie a couple years ago. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, he, he was okay. I thought, I thought it was good. I, love, I would like to see him in more things. Yeah. He was okay. If I can ever learn how to pronounce his name, yeah. I don't know what his name is. Dakra Montgomery... Oh, I think I pronounced it Daiquiri in my head. <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> no, I've never had a Daiquiri, actually. They're good. I bet. I don't mind them. <laughs> anyway, um, so with the ending. Oh, we're just going to jump right to that? Uh, we don't have to. Is there something else you wanted to bring up first? Shit, no, that, I don't remember that now. <laughs> we can, yeah. Might as well. Well, like the big battle scene. I really liked season two's big battle scene because it was L and the portal. That wasn't even a fight. That's not a battle. But it was more intense than this one, in my opinion. Um. So wait, which big battle for season three? Like in like the, the mall? final? Yeah. I didn't mind it. I thought it was fine. Like it was how, fine. how else? How else do you fight a giant thing made of meat? I mean, definitely the um, the fireworks were a good idea. Yeah, and sure. I, I really did like, I, if they had finished it with that scene in the cabin, like where the, the mind flayer is attacking the cabin, mm-hmm. I, I think that would have made a stronger finale, because that felt yeah. more harrowing, that was a lot more right. intense, because it's so claustrophobic. Yeah. But like, I, I like the mall scene with the, the fireworks. I liked it, um, and I liked that Elle got hurt with her foot or whatever. Yeah, the leg, the yeah. bite, but yeah. that went nowhere. She got it out herself. Yeah, they, they resolved that too quickly. Like, yeah, they but... named an episode The Bite. Yeah. So they made it sound like it was going to be a much bigger thing, right. aside from just, oh, she got bit. Like, I wish it had, like, almost started to change her. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I was expecting. Yeah. That would have been a lot more interesting, but they weren't they were going to do that. That scene, though, of them cutting it out of her mm-hmm. was really well done. For the actors, okay. yeah, I thought okay. I thought it was really good. I don't like her though. Well, I think she's cute. I don't like her because she was also in the uh, the new Godzilla. Yeah. And she was just like so boilerplate and unnecessary. I didn't like her. Yeah. Not too much is on. I think she's a good actress. Fine. Um, the whole part with <laughs> Steve though, that I really liked. Steve was great. I he, love he Steve. Keeps, he keeps getting better. He's so cute in that little sailor outfit. Oh my god. He's adorable. He's just like one of those kids where it's like, I want to pinch your cheeks because you're so cute. And he's so pathetic. You can't help but feel bad for him. I don't think I really felt bad for him. Well, I felt real bad for him because he's, <laughs> he's a, a stereotypical king of high school. 
who becomes nothing after high school. Yeah. It's great. But then, uh, but then they team him up with Robin, who's also great. Yeah, she was good. I didn't like her at first, but I grew to like her. I thought she, I thought she was a lot of fun. She was. And then there's like, oh, I don't like guys. I'm. I'm it turns out she's gay. And he just went right and with it. And he's just cool. Like, yeah. cool. I, I approve of this. Which you know, back in the eighties, which not is a big exactly, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Which is a huge thing. Yeah. And then like being high as fuck when they were pretty, practically that, being, that, was that was great. That was great. That was so funny. Oh yeah. my god. That was wonderful. And then Dustin was great as always. How did you feel about the song with him and, and I, Susie all right, first Bear of all, or whatever her name first was? First of all, I hate Dustin. What? I can't stand him. He's my favorite character. He's my least favorite. Out. Yeah, no, I feel comfortable in saying he's my least favorite out of everybody on that show. Why? Because I don't like anything about him. Like, he's weird and I don't like the lisp thing. Like, That's not... And no, it's not his fault. Like, okay. Like, they tried to make it endearing, but he just, he is, like, so aggressive in this season. There's, some, there's something uncom- There's something I don't like a little about in this season. And I'm not happy about the fact that Susie was real. I want, oh, I was. I want I was. so hard for her to be fake. That's because you don't like Dustin. Right, but so it also would have be been happy. hilarious. No. Because then, then never- we wouldn't have gotten the song. I wanted to fucking die. I thought the mall montage was the cringiest thing. Yeah. And then the never ending story happened. <laughs> it went on too long. Right. Because Especially it, since they're trying to save the world. It shouldn't have been a thing. Like when they cut the hopper's face. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> like, I can't believe this shit is happening. I thought it was cute. This was like a family guy cutaway. It was awful. All of the family guy cutaways are fun. So, no, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. That's why we need a third person here. Because we just argue. No, we've had third people here. We've had Dave here, and Dave is just. Because he doesn't us know on. what to do. No, because to him, we're, we're the equivalent of parents arguing in a car. It's the worst, though, man. Like, <laughs> come on. Or, like, the like when we're arguing. We're. When parents <laughs> are just, like, arguing in the living room, and the kids are sitting on the staircase yeah, listening. And that's that's yeah. been us. That's oh. always just us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, but I did want to make another point. But anyway, the Never Ending Stories bit was awful. And I I paused it. I legitimately stopped it about maybe like five seconds into it. And I gave good thought into just fast forwarding. I'm kind of surprised you didn't. I didn't know if like anything crucial was going to happen. And yeah. Because I, I didn't know how long it was going to go. It went on too long. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Much too long. And and I hate the Never Ending Story to begin with. I don't even remember that song being in the Never Ending Story. It's like a credits thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. First of all, the Never Ending Story was great. It's fine. It's great. It's fine. I was terrified of it the first time I saw it when I was a child. Fun fact: the author of the book hates the movie. That's upsetting. I think Stephen King hates uh, Kubrick's version of The Shining. That's upsetting, too, because it was good. It's, it's a solid movie, but it does deviate a lot from uh, the source material. So, the sister, Lucas's sister, what the fuck was her name? Wasn't it like Erica. T- oh, okay. Because you can't spell America without Erica. That was adorable. I loved that. Hated her for everything else. Okay, okay same. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get She kind of had a purpose. She didn't. She got them into the room. Yeah, but I just didn't, I didn't like how obnoxious she was. Yeah, no, she was very frustrating. But, it, but you know, as obnoxious as she was, like, that was a, a solid performance. Because I believed yeah. it. Yeah. I believed it more than I did most of the other kid actors. Yeah, she... You know what, though? It's so easy to play a bitch. That's the thing, because people are so quick to hate. Mm, no, it's yeah. it's hard to play a good bitch. Okay, fair. It's, it's hard to do, like, a, a believable, but somehow enjoyable level of bitch, like uh, Rachel McAdams. When was she bitchy? Oh, in mean Duh, Girls. Yeah, Mean Girls. Girls. Right. Like, her as Regina George is excellent. Yeah. But, like, I, I'm struggling to remember, like, a, a bad example because I don't bother with those. Right. Honestly, like, if you're not going to be entertaining and fun yeah. to hate, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> yeah, Erica was fun to hate. Mm-hmm. Um, and the whole thing with, like, Nancy and Jonathan working at the post. So boring. It just, I really think it was mostly there to irritate the women who were watching. Oh, yeah. With how yeah. they were treating her. Yeah, because, like, Mad Men did a similar thing, but Mad Men did it better. Mm, well, there you go. 
So that was annoying. And then I liked what they did with the rats. I thought what did they do with the rats? They... Just as vectors? Yeah. 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 That's fine. Because that's what that's that's what rats do. Rats carry diseases. Yeah, the one that she captured in the cage and then it like was going fucking wild and yeah. then it and like And then it gooped. Yeah. Yeah. That was good mm-hmm. and I liked it. And that's I liked good. in the hospital. Yeah. That scene was good. With a where Jake B C and the other guy just melt into goo and then become a monster. Yeah. That was great. But there's something about that. I'm almost kind of mad that that wasn't a guy in a suit. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the '80s. Everybody was yeah. in, it, everything was was practical effects in the '80s. Yeah, but it wasn't made in the '80s. But it's the aesthetic of the '80s. I would have liked to have seen a guy in a meat suit. That would have not been believable at all. It would have been great. You just want to go back to the '80s. I really don't want to have a bad time. <laughs> um. But there's something about that with the mind flare that I don't like. Like there's, it, it can just do anything, and it can like it doesn't die, and it. It died. I know, but like in in the scene in the hospital scene, like that's like when I got annoyed with well, the monster. It's, it's just because it's a it's a thing that we don't understand because it's from another world. We don't understand it. But yeah. I understood more of the Demogorgon than I did with this one. Because it had a physical form. The, the Mind Flayer didn't really have a physical form. It had to assemble a body. Yeah, I didn't really like that. I thought it was great. You know what, though? In Season 2, when they went into the pumpkin field and they were able to get to the Upside Down mm-hmm. through that, that was fucking cool. Season 2 is my least favorite. Really? Just because it, it meandered so much, but then it had bits like that. Yeah. Where, like, Hopper is trying to figure out like, how far this decay is spreading. Mm-hmm. That part was cool. Yeah. But then, like, everything else with the, the, the Demodogs and... Mm-hmm. And what, what the fuck was his name? Bob? Bob was cute! I hated Bob. He was cute. And it was pointless. Like, I don't, I don't care about Bob. You were supposed to. I didn't care about... I didn't care about Bob. I didn't care about Barb. I didn't care about Barb either. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's just, like... Season 2 meandered so much because it was building to Season 3. But you learn so much in Season 2 because that's when you get introduced right. to her sister. That, no, that was pointless. I liked it. That whole bit with, like, she's hanging out with, with the, the other side of the track kids. Uh-huh. Pointless. It wasn't pointless. It was a waste of an episode. Was it only one episode? It was one episode. They introduced her in the first episode, though. Right, but then, like, they built an entire episode around her going, like, oh, quote-unquote, dark side. It was also her trying to figure everything out. There, there was better ways to do it. Than right, but, like, she's 11 years old, and she's 11. Probably Ooh, 11. I don't know how old she is. I know. <laughs> but, like, she spent her whole life being a human... Anything? Yeah, but... Well, That's something experiment. Yeah. A human experiment, Yeah. And so I liked that she was, like, trying to find her mom and trying to figure out what happened and, like, that whole thing. And I liked the relationship with her and Hopper, yeah. which just made it a million times worse at the Yo, end of season, season three. season three, that, that, that ending made me feel things, and I was not happy about that. I cried, like, hardcore. I wasn't happy about that. No, I was really upset. He had time to get out of there. He didn't. He did. If he tried, he did. He didn't, because he was fighting the fucking Terminator. He had time. <laughs> that was a nice little thing too where they made that Russian soldier just basically the Terminator like he, yeah. looked, he looked a lot like Arnold Schwarzenegger in that first one yeah I didn't really care for the whole Russian stuff that's, besides... just, that's just part of the 80s that was the 80s yeah. thing because the Cold War was going on the Red yeah. Scare was still happening we had movies like Red Dawn but it would have been fine if it was just with like Steve and that whole section of it but See, then they that brought felt like it a huge stretch like, Which part of it? What do you mean? Like the like the Russian conspiracy all throughout Hawkins. Oh yeah, that felt like a huge stretch considering it's a, it's a show about fucking interdimensional monsters and psychic kids. Yeah, it was yeah. it was too much. It was a bit much. I liked it with Steve, but I wish they weren't there as long as they were. Yeah, and they didn't need Alexi, and well, that whole irritating. Thing. Irritating. He was cute by the end of it, but it was like, all right, yeah, this is irritating. this is annoying. This yeah. is boring. Whatever. But then when fucking Eleven reads, oh, by the way, though, I was pissed that Joyce decided to move. Yeah, that felt again. That felt really out of nowhere. Yeah, and I would understand if it was like right after 
season one yeah, when but, they first it, got Will back. It makes sense though because they're, they're bringing in the rise of consumerism and the death of the small town. But then, how are they going to make season four? Something will have to happen to reunite the gang. I guess that's it. That's I didn't all. like that they moved. I was really upset by that. It was just really weird too that she adopted uh, Eleven. Where else was she going to go? Uh, Mike's th- parents weren't going to take her. No, that's fair, but it's just it felt kind of sudden. It kind of had to be. She had nobody. Right. No, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. Winona Ryder, though. She's great. She's great. Yeah. She's awesome. She she does a great job in everything that she does. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. Have you ever seen Dracula? No. So, yeah, watch Dracula. Okay. <laughs> That's bad. I definitely liked her in Edward Scissorhands, though, with that hair. Ugh. You would. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, she's she's just gorgeous anyway. But you, you like old lady Winona? <laughs> no, no, when she's got orange hair, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't even remember what her name was in that. Oh, it's gonna bother me. Oh, I don't remember. It's been years since I've seen it. Was it. like Katie or Allison or? It literally doesn't matter. I know, but let us know in the comments because it's gonna bother me. <laughs> or you can just look it up on the internet. <laughs> but I'm getting the, the the I almost said the customer the audience involved. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but yeah, so when Eleven reads the note from Hopper. Oh yeah. And she's laying. Uh, oh my god. And she's laying on the floor, mm-hmm. just bawling my eyes out. It was so sad. I and was... especially at the end when, she, when it says, like, oh, you know, for your dear old dad or something. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that, that part had me. I, I wasn't crying because I don't do that because I don't feel things inside. <laughs> but it's just like, that was rough. Yeah. That was well done. It was really well done. It was really upsetting. And it, it was interesting because I've read a, a lot of things about how people considered season three to have ruined Hopper's character. Oh, I don't think so at all. Because of how like angry and shouty and like alpha he was being. I, he's got a teenage daughter now. Right. That, that was my takeaway. Yeah. Yeah. Like nobody liked that. They wanted him just to go back to being cuddly and soft. Was he ever really cuddly and soft? Yeah, in season two, like, there's that whole, like, meme of him dancing, Jim Croce. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, but it's fine, it's headcanon, because he dies in season three, and then he just becomes Hellboy. But do you think that was him with the extra little, like, epilogue thing? 50-50. I really don't know. Who else would it be? It could have literally been anyone, because I'm used to being, like, red herrings like that. Yeah. Like having something like that dangled in front of you only to have been nothing. Yeah. Like the whole thing with um, Ray's parents in Star Wars. Yeah. Like the whole big tease and the last Jedi happens. Oh, they're nothing. You're nothing. Right. It was great. That I I loved. Okay. The last Jedi is great. I, I, yeah, I liked it. Thought it was good. Yeah, it's super good. But I'm used to false leads like that. I hate it. But I really want it to be him. Don't get me wrong. I want Hopper back, yeah, because he's my favorite character on that show. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think it's him. I don't think it's I'm, him. I'm gonna say I, I think it is, but just because I want it to be right. Because we don't know what happened to him in that explosion. Because we saw everybody else get vaporized. We've seen people get vaporized when that whole machine explodes. Right. So yeah, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to wait a while. It was only like a year in between, right? Mm-hmm. A while. <clears throat> Fine, we'll watch other things. Read books. I am reading books. Okay, well, we're we're way lost here in the city. So it's let's... fine. Dave can, Dave can edit this. He can. But Dave, yeah. cut it here. <laughs> <laughs> and just save that little bit for a bonus. Yes. Um, but yeah, so Stranger Things, I think season two was my favorite. Okay. Yeah, season two got too expository for my liking. Mm-hmm. That was my issue. That's fair. It meandered a bit, and then nothing really was resolved, and that, I think that's my larger issue. Yeah. And it's just the entire wasted episode with her and her sister. I thought it was kind of interesting, and you know, she was. It, it gave us more of Eleven's past because right. I I wanted more of that. And like the other thing I took away from it was, oh, this could have been Eleven. Like this could have been her life had she not been right uh, picked up by Mike and Hopper and all that. How was she picked up? She, she escaped, was in the woods. She escaped. She found her way to 
that restaurant. That's right. Okay. And then I think Hopper picks her up from the restaurant after the... No, 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 because the kids found her first. Is it, it's been so long since I've seen season one. Yeah, yeah. She was... I just remember the, the restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then she runs off yeah. into the woods. I'm not going to rewatch it. No, there's not really a point to rewatching it. I've rewatched shows before, but I don't feel like the need to rewatch this. See, I don't like rewatching shows because it's like I've already seen it and I feel like I'm just wasting my time. Some things still uh, make me laugh. Like, I just finished watching the first two seasons of Twin Peaks. And it was great. I enjoyed every second of it. My mom must really liked that. Um, I didn't, well, the, hang on, that was a lie. I didn't enjoy every second. There's some parts in season two that are bad. <laughs> well, not everything can be perfect like me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. You know what I just realized? I wanted to make business cards today. I totally forgot. Should we have stopped recording before you announced that? <laughs> Dave is going to have a hell of a time with this. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm, I'm so not. Sorry. Um, I mean, I don't feel like running home, so like we can do another one. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, right. uh, follow us on the, all the things. And we're just going to stop it there? Do you want to talk about anything else? I think we per- milked it pretty well. Okay. I was going to say, well, how would you rank the seasons? But fine. Well, season two was my favorite. Okay. Probably season one and then three. Okay. But not like, like, you know, a hard last place. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's all pretty close. Mm-hmm. I do like the show. I like it enough to recommend it to people. Yeah. Obviously, I like it enough to continue watching it. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I would say overall, the show in general, I'd give like a seven out of ten. Okay. That's fair. How about you? Three has been my favorite one so far. For a second, I thought you were going to say three out of ten, and I was like, damn, Case. Uh, like, I'll go with like three, one, two in terms of seasons. That's interesting. Yeah, because I liked everything that season one was setting up. Mm-hmm. And then season two was just like boring to me. Fair. And then season three, like I said, hit my 80s. It hit all the, the Carpenter, Cronenberg sweet spots. Mm-hmm. And I feel like narratively, it reached a lot of good endings. Yeah. So that's why I liked it the best. That's fair. But yeah, 7 out of 10 is fair. It's not outstanding, yeah. but it's also not average. Yeah. It hits average some points, and I, I wouldn't mind deducting a whole point for the, the montage and the never-ending story <laughs> shit, but I'll, I'm, I'll be fair and I'll say yeah. 7 out of 10. Um, I wanted to ask you, how did you feel about Will's character in Season 3? Miss Amber. Okay. They didn't, they didn't know what to do with him because they keep setting him up to be gay, but they they don't want they don't want to put that label on a kid. I didn't get that at all. They even come out and say it in season three, like you don't like girls, and I feel like I would feel oh like that. yeah, my gaydar sucks. And like a lot of season one and some parts of season two, like they're really pushing him towards kind of like being like the token gay kid. Hmm. And like they don't He's know. Got how- the haircut for it. Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, like, they don't know how to approach it, right? Because they're, I think, yeah. maybe they're afraid because he's so young and they don't want to put that label on him, but... But like, see, that's what our fucking world is coming to. That's what it's coming to. We're not even going to start talking about that because that's a whole <laughs> other episode, special. like, on but the it's main just show. Like, they don't know what to do with him because the impetus for so much of the show has been revolving around him and being like a channel between worlds. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because there's a lot to take from from that. I mean, he definitely reminded me of Carol Ann from Poltergeist. Like the original. Like for a little bit with that whole bridge between worlds thing. Yeah. Um, it kind of felt bad for him this season just because... Oh, I did too. I, th- I cried over him at one point. He was just like so lost and left behind by everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Because he, I mean, what he went through was extremely traumatic. It was awful. And he has PTSD from it. Yeah, and nobody really supports him. No, I mean, nobody really can the way right. that he needs it. Because right. no one's been in the upside down and experienced the things that he experienced. Right. And so... Or at least lived. Oh, well, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, he just wanted to get back and play Dungeons and & Dragons and, and have his childhood and back. Everybody's moving on. Yeah, and I hate that feeling of moving on. Yeah. Because Cause there's always that kid in the group that just wants things back to the way they were. That's me. <laughs> That's always me. Yeah. 
And it's, I, I mean, you know, you have to move on, but, like... He gets it was left just, behind. Yeah, he like, does get left like, behind. Like there's the natural moving on. Yeah. But he gets left behind. I just felt so... Like everybody essentially kind of just ditches him. Yeah. Like, okay, we're, we're done with mm-hmm. you. And I, I feel like that's that's a huge flaw in the storytelling. It's a huge flaw in the writing, because they didn't know what to do with him. Because I think they wanted him to die after season two. <laughs> I don't think it's that they didn't know what to do with him. I think they wanted to focus on the fact that Will didn't want to grow up and he didn't want to move on. Right. And everybody did. And that kind of brings him back into being a potential main character. Right. Because if you think about it, like... When you think of the main characters of Stranger Things, I go to Eleven. And I'm sure a lot of people also go to Eleven. Right, they go to the kids. Well, right, but I don't go to Will. And see, like, Will was the one who got taken. Mm-hmm. Will was the one who went through all the shit. Yes. And, like, in, in two out of three seasons. Yeah. yeah, and, like, I don't think of him as a main character. Right. They and I think they wanted to fix behind. that a little bit. I don't think they didn't fix it here. Well... I just, I felt so bad when he, like, dressed up as the wizard for the, yeah, for the campaign. That was and sad. It was really upsetting. <laughs> like, I was, I was, like, my heart broke a little bit yeah. for him. Um, granted, I'm, I think I've always been that person, mm-hmm. like, in my friend group. Who, oh, yeah. Like, didn't want to move on. So, like, I get it. Right, because you, you, <laughs> you get to things a certain way and you just don't want them to change. Right, because they're great where they are. And then somebody does something to, to help move the rest of the group in a new direction. Right. Nobody likes change. God. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. Will was not the best no. in this season. It's like I guess they didn't know what to do with him, aside from having him be like radar. So those are our thoughts on Stranger Things season three and overall. Really, it's pretty fun. Check it out. Yeah, I would watch it. It's not like it's really going anywhere anytime soon on no, Netflix. So it's huge. You got time. Yeah. Um, let us know if you agree with our ranks, because they're the complete opposite, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of our yes. friendship. Um, so yeah, give us a like and a follow on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all, uh, the, things. all the things, and we will catch you later. Yeah. Later show times. Bye.